You cannot move water around in your body or retain it in the right compartments inside your blood vessels, inside your tissues, inside the cells. You can't keep things in the right compartment without sodium chloride. The chief cells in your stomach cannot make stomach acid without salt. Okay? Salt is the raw material. Sodium chloride is the raw material to make hydrochloric acid. So, uh, two things have happened because of this terrible criminal advice that doctors have given. It's criminal. Anybody else do this to the American people, they'd be put in jail for a life. Some of them would be executed because of the number of people who are killed over this. Right? <clears throat> salt is required to make stomach acid. You don't have enough stomach acid, you get reflux. Incorrectly called acid reflux. Is reflux. Mm -hmm. Reflux is caused by insufficient amounts of stomach acid. Not too much stomach acid. So doctors have even named it the wrong thing, right? And basically, um, you get reflux when you don't have enough stomach acid to keep your stomach environment sterile. So yeast begin to grow in there, so you eat carbohydrates and sugar. They ferment that, produce gas. Uh-oh, heartburn, pressure, reflux. Because you have all these things growing in your stomach. Okay, when you get a pH too high, you get a pH above four, all these things begin to grow. You have a pH under one, your pepsin works to digest proteins, and you can absorb minerals, you can absorb B12. Your pH gets above two, two and a half, you can't do that. Okay, so you're in trouble. I mean, you can take tons of iron supplementation, and if you don't have any stomach acid, you can't absorb iron. Now, here comes the most terrible thing that's happened to America because of this inappropriate advice. Well, there's two things. One, you go back to 1995, <clears throat> 750 people died during a triple-digit heat wave in Chicago. It was a two-week heat wave, 1995, I believe it was. 750 people died here in Chicago, and thousands of people fell out with, with heat stroke. And the first thing they give them intravenously on the way to the hospital to get heat stroke is saline solution, which is salt water. Salt water yeah. And it's absolutely criminal that these 750 people who died were all ones who were on a salt-restricted diet. They're all seniors who were on a salt-restricted diet. They died of heat stroke because of, these doctors didn't have the courtesy to call these people up in good manners just to call them and say, look, whether you believe in the salt-restricted diet or not, right now you need to put a couple of tablespoons of salt in a gallon of water and be sipping on that until the heat wave goes away. But they didn't do that. And so all those people who died of heat stroke we're under the care of doctors who are on a restricted salt diet. Those doctors should be put in jail. Okay? For almost like the same thing as vehicular homicide, the same type of thing as uh, manslaughter, right? That type of thing. Um, then here comes the big one. Right now, 